Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Queen Game Line back to you with another video. This video will focus on Normani's team inconsistencies over the years and lack thereof pushing Normani's career moving forward. You'll watch a 2017 interview with ABC in a series of clips. I will come back with my commentary of why there needs to be a change within her team. Final three. I know you're always on the night shift. She is, of course, one fraction of Fifth Harmony. Yeah, work from home. I felt really alone. But it's the 20 year old's bold confession from last week that will live so much longer in the memory. I got bullied, like, terribly on social media. I did an interview. It was taken out of context completely, and there were images. People were calling me, like, the N-word. Like, it was really ugly. And the contempt. I think that it's a conversation that needed to be talked about, and it's my responsibility to talk about it. And then Camila. Fifth Harmony was touring when Normani gave this interview to Galore magazine. Camila. Very... Corky. That tiny pause unleashed a torrent of vile trolling. I was getting racial slander, images of me being hung, whipped, beaten, and um, it really affected me. Maybe. Apparently some people thought she was dissing a bandmate. Being shady, as they call it, as the kids call it nowadays, and I was not. She apologized for any inadvertent offense. It got worse. And do you know who any of these people were who no. were attacked? Romani last summer was also trolled into quitting all social media. And I feel like then I became the more reserved and closed off person. I get afraid of letting people in. Raised in New Orleans. Well, I went to a predominantly white school and I stuck out because I was the black girl, but I would get teased for the color of my skin and wonder why. I remember we were playing outside and the first thing that this girl, this little girl could tell me was, leave me alone, you burnt biscuit. Like, where do you, where do you get that from, especially being so young? Is it worse the second grader in the playground or the multitudes of faceless people on social media? It honestly, it felt the same. When you have an artist such as Normani that has been through so much and she releases solo singles here for a few months and then gone and she reappears. This song, Waves, actually was a reintroduction of Normani. And this video actually won a VMA back in 2019 after her amazing performance of motivation now you would think that her team would already have an ep ready with waves motivation love lies and dancing with a stranger ready for consumption now, I don't know who dropped the ball at her label or on her team, but I feel like there are entities within Normani's orbit that is not taking her career seriously. I feel like there needs to be a shift in personnel because they're not taking her career seriously. As a new upcoming artist, she has to be out there. It is her job. Other artists that have introverted personalities are bringing a buzz about their projects, have released EPs or mixtapes, giving the music industry something to talk about. We have yet to have an EP or a mixtape attached to Normani's name 
that has caused the buzz on the internet or in the industry overall. Again, I feel like her team is not taking her career seriously because you cannot have an artist releasing a song or a video in two months and then not come back for almost two years. It doesn't work like that. You have to give the consumer something to talk about to keep on coming back. It took her time to come back to social media due to trolls on her page. You can't force someone to be an extrovert if their nature is being an introvert and she has every right to protect her energy. So when dealing with an artist like a Normani, it's best to have them release a mixtape, an EP. That way they get their feet wet. So when it's time for the official album, there are, are no reservations, fears, or hiccups. I have noticed every time awards are coming up, there's this buzz of Normani allegedly begging to appear on stage. This narrative needs to stop. Her team needs to put her on the Terrell show. They need to put her performing on her YouTube page, on her IG page, on her Facebook page, and other social media outlets. That way, when the award season comes around from the VMAs, the BET Awards, the Billboards, the Soul Train Awards, the AAs, the Grammys, etc., Normani is more than ready to perform and give us a show. This young lady has everything that it takes to be a superstar. I don't know who is managing her, but they're doing not a great job in my eyes. I don't know anything about the industry, but one thing I do know is... You have to be consistent. The reason why we still talk about Brandy, Beyonce, Rihanna, Janet, Nikki, Cece is because they are consistent with their music and their projects. And this is why they are able to take a break and come back. This is the time for Normani to perform at festivals. I have yet to hear Essence, Rolling Loud, Lovers and Friends announce Normani performing at their festivals, etc., etc. It's this is the best time for Normani to showcase why she is the superstar that we know. We know that she is, and yet it's 2022, and we still don't have an album. We still don't have an EP. We still don't have a mixtape showcasing Normani's talent. And this is where I believe entities on her label, entities on her team, are sabotaging this young lady's career. And unfortunately, years from now, when it's all said and done, it's going to take a scandal for us to find out what really occurred. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.